Aaron. Hello. Hi, thank you so much for meeting me here. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. Um, so let me just go ahead and start off by saying we just went on a kayak tour as a team. Mm -hmm. We used your kayaking company. It was fantastic. We had a great time. We did get rained out. Super stormy that day. Not anybody's fault. Yep. But nevertheless, we had a great time. It was a really fun trip. We got our heart rates up. We got mm -hmm. to see some of the Indian River Lagoon and it yep. was just overall awesome. So I personally can vouch that it's just a really great, wonderful time and a great company and we got to meet your family. Yes, yeah. yep, they're all there. Great, yep. so tell me a little bit about your company. I would love for you to talk about yourself, um, introduce the company, uh, tell us a little bit about how you got started and what is your story. Okay, so we've been in Florida for a couple years and uh, last year my wife and I were talking about doing our own business and wanting to be in the outdoors because we love being outside by the water, by mountains, whatever it is. So we knew it was something water-based since we live here in Florida. And we've done kayaking the past in Washington and we saw other kayaking companies here, but nothing like what we wanted to do. And so our model is completely different. We are a kayak delivery company instead of the um, standard one location, one spot, or the tour groups where you're kind of um, uh, already decided or they've already decided where you're going to go and how long you're going to go out which is great for them but ours is completely different we want to offer kayaks to everyone for all day and all different types of paddlers and it's more on their own time and their convenience of when they want to paddle so that's what kind of launched this idea to have a kayak company and to go that route so we became a feel-free kayak dealer Another thing that we wanted was we wanted really nice updated kayaks. So every other season where you're gonna be updating our kayaks so you always get new kayaks instead of the traditional where there's kayaks that have been in the fleet for five to 10 years that are getting kind of old and tired. So we want the, um, the experience for people to be like, they are being well taken care of with our kayaks. And then it's paddle boards as well too. So we do have for paddle boards. And we have different types of kayaks as well. So we have the tandems, singles, as well as fishing kayaks, which no one else in our area. Is doing the fishing kayak? North or south, we've actually had to go 60 plus miles to deliver fishing kayaks to customers that are willing to pay the extra for destination because there's just nothing like that in the kayak rental community. I actually didn't know that about the fishing kayak. Yes. I did know, so the original reason why we reached out to you for one of our like team events, mm -hmm. we're a pretty active team, so we like to pick like a team building or something where we're like outside and doing something active. That's our typical MO. Mm -hmm. And I was referred to you because you do the drop off. Exactly mm -hmm. like you're saying, it's different than really any of the other places that you can rent kayaks in town or in the vicinity, yep. you get to pick where you want to launch from, mm -hmm. your own route, you get to do your own adventure. It's not so curated for exactly. you, which I like like that sense mm -hmm. of adventure. Yeah. It's exactly why we yep. we picked it. And it yeah. works for all types of people, like um, young people that have young kids, they just want to be on the water and just go somewhere and have a picnic. They're yeah. not looking to go on a tour somewhere. The yeah, or the so, pressure of the of, tour. Of trying yeah. to keep up with yeah. them while maintaining their kids. So we've had those and we've had elderly people that are just wanting to go out and just try to go find birds and try to go find the manatees like and that's kind of all they're wanting to do and not trying to like follow a group yeah yeah, yeah i do like that like less structured more adventure mm -hmm. like less curated and you're right because sometimes when you go out with a group Typically you are allowed to like pick your own group and go, but mm -hmm. sometimes you're with other people and you kind of have to keep pace. And mm -hmm. for like newer kayakers or people who want to leisurely pace, that's not really the vibe. Like it's totally. a lot of pressure. Totally, yeah. yes. And another so thing- more play, you know? Yes, yeah. exactly. More and then play. one more thing with our kayaks is all our, all of ours are sit on top kayaks. So it makes it a lot easier for people that are not as mobile to get into our kayaks. Typically the sit in kayaks are a little cumbersome, a little difficult yeah. for people to kind of slide their feet in. Whereas these people can just sit down and then put their feet in and everything is open and safe. Everything's accessible between cup holders and storing you know, food and snacks. And so it just makes that so much easier for them. And then these are really heavy kayaks and that's why other tour companies don't use these. And so we've been able to modify a really custom trailer to deliver and so they don't have to do any of the heavy lifting, which is really nice to have the kayaks on the shoreline ready for them to go. Yeah. And then when they're done, they just bring them up to the shoreline and then we take care of the rest. Nice, yeah, and yep. they were they were really sturdy, stable kayaks. Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually a good point because I am an ex 
I would say a novice, but an experienced <laughs> novice yes. kayaker. I love to paddleboard. I own mm -hmm. a paddleboard. Yes. And so I'm used to the equipment, but there are some people who are not, and there mm -hmm. is a big difference between a sit-in kayak, like your traditional river kayak, where you yep. have to tuck your legs in and you're mm -hmm. bound in. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I do think that makes a lot of people feel a little weary to try it or claustrophobic. It does. It does. And this is so great for any level. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. This is a great point because you literally do sit on top of it in your totally free range movement. Yep, completely. Different, totally different experience. And I really prefer the sit on top yes, kayak. For that recreation of just going out and not trying to like, you know, go from point A to point B that may be 20 miles, you know, that's a totally different type of kayak. This is much more just going out and getting on the water. Yeah. And then also with which these I two, we have the pedal there. drives. And so, which is really nice because people are really interested in the pedal drives. One, they want to go further. They want to fish, and so it allows Talk about you. With your feet. Yep, it allows yes. you to move the boat without having to use your arms. And then some people also have shoulder issues, and so that's too much uh, resistance. And so they can just sit there and pedal, and then they can steer with their other hands. So that was another thing that we do that not many other companies have is having pedal kayaks. Do you think the pedal kayaks are like less resistance or easier? Just because typically people do have more exactly. lower body strength yes. than upper body strength. Yes. So we have people that have very little kayak experience, and they can. Go go four or five miles and it doesn't even take much work at all. Whereas if they try to paddle four or five miles traditional and they never do it, they would be pretty tired. Yeah. Okay. So that is really nice. I think my mom has actually rented before in the past years ago, like a pedal one and mm -hmm. she's really liked it. Mm -hmm. Might've even been in the Keys. Yes. But um, okay, here's the cool thing that I really like about getting out on the Indian River Lagoon in a kayak or a paddleboard is it's one thing to like stand on the shore and look at the water and see the mangroves and you know kind of look and see what you can see yes but when you're immersed in it and you're literally paddling through a mangrove like tunnel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's wicked it's, it's a totally so different cool. experience yeah yes. it's really like um it's not a once in a lifetime experience because yep. it's very accessible but it's really unlike anything else totally you know yeah. yeah and with the kayaks too you're able to get in smaller areas that like your traditional boats unless you have a real like micro skiv it's just challenging to get into those areas because yeah. our water depth in the indian river is so shallow yeah. and so that makes it super nice with these is that you're able to get into those waterways and explore some of those areas that you just can't get to by trail or a big boat yeah and like the shallow areas where the manatees kind of like to hang out because the water is warmer too yep. yeah totally i've had some really cool manatee encounters um on the kayak yeah you're not supposed to touch them. No touching. No touching. <laughs> yep. They're really beautiful and they're really cool and they're really friendly, I think. Like, totally. My experience with the manatees has always been super, they're inquisitive, they're really friendly and it's just like a cool, again, like immersive experience where you, mm -hmm. it's different. Like you're not going to go to the zoo and get the same kind of experience with totally. wildlife yep. and native wildlife. So yes. I love that. Yes. Very cool. Well, I love what you do. I would mm -hmm. think that having a kayaking company is like a really happy profession. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, totally. John and I talk about this a lot of times. It's like, it really does matter what you do because you could be doing one thing. Uh, I don't know. You could, mm -hmm. I don't know, a good example off the top of my head. But there's like happier professions to be in that I think just lead to like a nice life. It is. And a nice it really lifestyle. is. Yeah. And we really didn't know how that was going to look interacting with people. We've, I've done a lot of Airbnb in our past, and okay. so we really like that customer service. That was more indirect with our customers because yeah. it was more through messaging and phone and not actually face-to-face. -face. And so we've kind of taken a lot that we learned from doing the Airbnb industry and then applying it to our kayak company, but it's way more fun because it's face-to-face. -face. Yeah. So there's that like, here, here's all the kayaks, go out, have an adventure. And then when they come back, it's that, what did you see? How was the experience? And the experience has always been great. All of our reviews on Google are five stars, which right. hopefully we can keep up. <laughs> and so- the, I think we gave you a five star. There you like, go. Five stars. <laughs> so the customer service is really big for us yeah. that they're really enjoying the experience yeah. and making them feel like, their needs are being met as far as the kayaking and you know they we take their feedback too if there's like if they ask us or they want us to know if we can do something differently we try to make that happen sure yeah it's helpful yep. to have like the feedback can i tell you something that we really yes. like too my husband actually commented on it whenever you guys came to load up the kayaks he's like how cool is it that their son is there taking the yes. equipment and involved in the business because yeah. i have two boys yes they're still pretty little ben's six right now and sam is three okay but uh john always thinks about like how can i get my kid involved or give him like a sense of um uh 
um, responsibility, totally. you know, in the whole yep. thing. Yep. And and just like importance and confidence. And yep. it was so cool to see like your neat. wife was there. It, she's the first person I yep. met. And then your son was there. Yep. And it was. And then like, we have an older one who's 16 almost. And so he's just learning. Was, to he, was he there? Oh, yeah, the he older might have one. Been. Yeah, okay, the yeah. younger one wasn't there helping out, okay. but he helps out too. Yeah. But my older son, he's almost 16. So hopefully he can be, you know, picking up kayaks, you know, from time to time during like the busy season. Yeah. If we have like different um, pickup times, yeah. different places. Just like love the family yeah. aspect of it. So I just think it does a lot for a family and I think it does a lot for kids to like get them involved. Totally, you know? and so. see them how to run a business and yeah. how it looks from the inside, yeah. which I never did as a child. So it's cool that we're exposing them so they can have their own business maybe someday. I think it's really cool. It's always like a dream of John and mine to to have that too and like, or have something for the kids, you mm -hmm. know, or at least give them like the leg up in life so that they know. Yep how to do things totally. right and the confidence and the skill so yeah we anyways we really like that we like to support local mm -hmm. i mean that's why i do these on the channel like yep. these local business features i love to support local and i love to support families awesome that's yes. my that's my big heart but um wonderful so can you tell me just a little bit more about like anything that you want the general public to know about you, you know again you can clip this up because it's going to be a little That's bit fine. messy. But like your story, um, your family, your kayaks, your business, like is there anything that you didn't touch on that you like want to impart to them? Um, I think the one thing that we want people to know is that we're just not the cookie cutter kayak company that you just go onto our website, make the reservation and we just show up and it's all done. We do get the occasional bookings like that, that people book with us, but majority of most people are just calling and asking what kind of kayaks do we have? What are some of the features that are on there? And then a lot of times they ask us, where is the best place to go during this time? ask you that, where yeah. Where this time of year, or maybe even this time of the day, you know, cause we know afternoons can get windy. And so maybe we'll go to a place that is more protected from the wind, or I want to see the sunrise. We've had a couple of customers and kayak companies don't have sunrise kayak Hours, rentals. No. Yeah. And so we would meet someone at 6.30, 6.45 AM, and they could go out for a one hour paddle. And that's what they wanted to do. So I feel like we we really cater to people that kind of want a very niche kayak experience. Cool, and more customized And more to customized, yeah. totally. I like yeah. that a lot. And, and our rates are really simple too. We just have a one day or a one day rate that can apply for someone who wants to go for one hour or they want to go for seven or eight hours. So it makes it really nice because a lot of kayak companies charge for like the first and second and third hour. Mm -hmm. And so by the time they get done, it may end up costing more than they wanted or whatever like that. This way people can go out and they're not like, oh, should I pay the extra time? It's just like, it's whatever they want to do, which is nice. And people like have gone that. out and they get done early because they're tired. One of the kids doesn't feel good. And so they'll reach out to us when they're coming back and be like, hey, we're done early. And then we're there to meet them if they get done and vice versa. We've had some, they're like, we're having a great time. We're going to be two hours longer. Great. No problem. We'll just come two hours later to pick them up. I love that. Yes, yeah. because I have been out before where it's like, well, I'm not quite done yet or we yeah. wanted to go do this extra loop. But yeah. now we're running out of time. Like we're done. Like yep. the experience is done essentially. Yep. Right. Because yep. the person's waiting. So, yeah, I really do love that. Yep. And that was our experience, too. I think we ended up early because of our weather was it's super stinky. stormy. Yeah. We're like, we're going to go get drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I did find it particularly helpful that when we did uh, launch our kayaks, you were saying, like, maybe go this way, mm -hmm. you know, because I was like, we're going to go north yeah. or whatever. But yeah. you're like, no, no, no go you that don't want to do that. Yeah. Go south. And it was a much better experience yes. kind of having that like guide to totally. yep. know where to go. Yep. Not just everywhere. Just go anywhere. Yeah. And we've done that with quite a few people. They'll bring their phones out on like Google Maps and we'll just kind of show them, draw uh, a circle of where we would like go. A plan. Yeah. In what yeah. direction we would do it. And if you have a little time, then you can do that as well. So you know, we're not like, you know, the 10, 15 year kayak company that knows every little nook and cranny, but we've been here long enough to know where all of the great places to paddle are and hopefully learn more as well. Cool. I yes. love that. Like you're learning us, you're, totally. you're doing it too. Totally. So do you launch off only the Indian River Lagoon or do you also launch off the beach? Uh, we've had a few go out on the beach on like a flat, 
flat swell or yeah. maybe a one foot swell where we know we can get them out. Usually it's paddle boards, but 99% uh, of the people are, are on the lagoon. It's much more tame. Yeah, yeah. Or much they go more to, predictable, yeah. much more tame. Totally. Yes. And then Sebastian River as well is another popular mm -hmm. destination for people to paddle one direction. So we drop off one and then we pick up the kayaks at the other end. Oh, that's great. Sebastian yeah, you River. go and then you follow the current down. Yep. Is that what it? Yeah. <laughs> and so that's a fun one too that a lot of that. people like. That's a really neat experience. Well, I just might have to do that. Yes. That would be a lot of fun, I think, yes. for John and I and even the kids because we've taken them out on paddle boards on the river before and they yeah. liked it. I mean, yes. Yes. Liked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> liked it. it was a stretch. It was outside their comfort zone. Totally. But we all liked it. We enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I love that. So. I love that. So how, if somebody wants to book with you or wants more information, how do they get in touch with you? Okay. So our website is treasurecoastkayak.com. And then we also have um, Treasure Coast Kayak on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. And same with our Facebook as the Instagram. And our phone number is on there as well. Okay. And so just hop on there, any, whatever your favorite social media platform whatever is, essentially, is. Facebook or Instagram. Yep. Um, and then all your information is right there, easily oh, right accessible, there. one click. Yep, totally. Great, awesome. awesome. Well, Super thank, fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, you're I welcome. just really love what you're doing. I think it's such a fun business. And I wish you all the success in the world. And we'll book that Sebastian yes. River trip here soon. All right, thanks for having us on your yeah, channel. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it. Love it.